Welcome, welcome guys. So today I will be reviewing the APC. There is a lot of different camos and upgrades and variants you can get for this certain uh, vehicle. Um, <laughs> and uh, it is actually pretty beastly. I mean, I personally think, okay, it's got very, very good acceleration. As soon as I hopped in it, the acceleration was fantastic. Um, so I was just like, you know, I'm testing it, I'm going around the field, I'm having a look, uh, testing out the gun and everything, but really you have to, you have to stop, be stationary, and then hold right on the D-pad to actually activate the gun. Um, and you can only do that when you're stationary, and obviously it has to, it is required for two men to be, uh, in this, uh, APC to have it fully active meaning driving and shooting um, so yeah I'm just gonna go into the the bunker because that's where my MOC is mobile operations center is and I'm actually going to just uh, upgrade it a little bit so let's see <clears throat> and you can drive your personal vehicles underground as well which is pretty cool uh, in the bunker so yeah Pretty, uh, it's a pretty nice little thing that uh, Rockstar have added in, so I decided to go on a bit of a rampage here, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, squish, squish. I'm trying to blow them up to see if they would all blow up, but you can clearly just fly over them, all of them, uh, the little buggies, without them blowing up. Okay, so I'm gonna obviously go for the armor upgrades and all the uh, other upgrades like brakes and full engine upgrades and things like that. I was just showing you, you know, uh, the comparison really of what it actually makes a difference with uh, in regards to speed. So yeah, I'm just gonna select the horn. I think I actually went for a. Uh, what, what horn did I go for? No, I went with the wah 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 wah. Can't remember what it's called, guys. Sad trombone. You don't want that sad trombone, son. <laughs> right, camos, guys. Check the camos out. It's a beast. I think the camos look like the best. One, well, one of the best vehicles to put camos on. Anyway, it's like one of the best vehicles, man. It's amazing. Digital, got all kinds of camos there, guys. Proximity mines, definitely gonna go and get those. You activate proximity mines by clicking the left stick in, and that lays them down. Obviously, it's like sticky bombs, you lay five down, and uh, five down at a time. I'm really, I'm just selecting my color here, don't really know what I'm going for. Uh, the camos absolutely look awesome though, you know, selection wise. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to go for uh, don't know what I'm going to go for to be honest. What am I doing? At least I'm showcasing all the colours eh? <laughs> I think I did pick one of my crew colours actually in the end. Oh no, did I pick red? No, I picked red. Pick red in the end. Crew looks sick though, to be honest. You guys should join my crew, whoever's watching. If you're not in a crew, just join mine. <clears throat> Whenever I'm doing missions and things like that, I'll inform you guys and let you know. Or vice versa, if you want missions doing, we'll do them together, that'll be good. So yeah. Well, you can have all kinds of metallic paint jobs. I 
and uh, you know I'm not talking too much so uh, you guys can kind of take in the colours because there are a lot of colours, a lot of patterns and um, you know it's, it's nice to just glance you know see what there is I bought this for a discount as well yeah, it's 2.3 million without discount and having not played the mission it's 3 million so yeah I mean that looks good as well doesn't it caught my eye <clears throat> I was going to edit all this out guys but uh I've kept it in for the uh, purposes of showing you guys what you can actually achieve and how you can make it look. Um, and if you were to get your APC, what would you uh, modify yours to look like? Really, you know, this this will give you some good idea. Um, you know, a are you going to buy it? You know, or is it something you want to invest in? And and b, uh, what could it potentially look like? Um. Also, with the turret, see the normal turret that's on the top now? That's the stock turret, so you can get another one, which is a SAM turret, which I will be upgrading. And this turret that you see on top is the same power as the tank, the Rhino tank. So, basically, you have unlimited ammo. Wow. <laughs> wow, that looks good, that one there. Whoa. Um, you have unlimited ammo. Okay, the, the rate of fire is significantly slower than the, the SAM turret, but, um, I mean, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? But, um, you know, you have the option of having unlimited ammo, whereas the SAM turret, you don't get unlimited ammo, okay? You do run out eventually, but you get a higher rate of fire, so in a 1v1 situation, you would want the higher rate of fire, you know, SAM. Um... But overall, just having fun in free room, I think the tank bullet would be hilarious, to be honest. Just going around. I decided to put the Sam turret on just to showcase what it could look like. Okay. So, I'm just finishing up, guys. Um, and we're going to take it for a little test drive. Uh, show you guys around it and how it reacts to the environment it's in. Um, I would say when you do a go over rugged or rough terrain it does bounce and skip a lot which is a cool thing it likes to kind of wheelie uh, which is fun it's a very fast accelerating vehicle for the weight of it um, and this particular vehicle can take 8 RPGs and it can take 6 sticky bombs so you'll be perfectly safe in this thing it's probably one of the most explosive resistant there's a wheelie there guys explosive resistant vehicles you can actually get in the game um, obviously along with the insurgent and the windows are very small but not very bullet resistance resistant so I'd say this is way more for the explosive resistance guys so I'm just gonna test out the actual fire rate and I didn't know if I had a limited amount or not, so I just ended up firing a load of RPGs out, some missiles or whatever. But can you see that not only the rate of fire is rapid, but um, for the caliber of, you know, weapon, but it's, it's the bullet velocity as well that's amazing. Um, you know, the rocket reaches the target very, very quick, which is great, you know. If you're trying to take out jets and everything, it can help, but it can also uh, be a pain if you're used to normal slow rockets or, you know, if you've got very good judgment and time of the normal rockets, whether it be the RPG or the homing launcher. So I think it's the same kind of speed, if not a little faster than the homing launcher, really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to test it out and see what's going on I think I can lay mines down look guys <clears throat> laid a few mines down went over them see how many times I can blow myself up uh, but you know I was just testing out the strength of the proximity mines and really having some fun in it really
it's a fun vehicle, but it's just a real shame that you can't shoot it um, yourself whilst driving it. I mean, that would be quite OP, to be honest. But, um, who cares? I, I thought you could do that, but you can't. You have to stop and physically shoot it, which sucks. Um, but obviously, if you're moving and you've got a second person in there, they can obviously shoot it as well. Um, don't know why this guy blew himself up. Uh, and overall, it's a great vehicle. All you need is a jet to swoop in. Not even swoop, just come from the, the top and then you're dead, really. Um, I've used a jet against an APC recently. And I took, I took it out pretty easily. Um, I mean, it is explosive resistant, but um, to a jet with those hydro bullets, they're just very, very powerful. But obviously, with one shot, the, the jet's going to get taken out. So it's kind of a balance throw up there, guys. Uh, that's it, really, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe for some more GTA content.